Hey guys, welcome back to another EDH video. Today's video we got Tommy back playing a tracks of Praetor's Voice, keeping a martial arts, a Zagoth Triumph, Path to Exile, Fertilid, an Exorbal Tide, Soren Markov, and a Garrick Apex Predator. We have Tyler playing Bernard, Ginger Sculptor, keeping a Glacial Fortress, Forest, Soaring, World of Tutor, Idyllic Tutor, Burnish Star, and a Moldrifter. Me playing my Nekusar deck, keeping an Island, a Love of Glide Pathway, Sulphur Falls, Blood Crypt, Mana Crypt, Gamble, and an Echo of Eon. Tommy starts us off on the play. He immediately plays a Zagoth Triumph, comes into the battlefield tapped. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Forest, taps that Forest for a Soul Ring, passes to me. I draw my card for turn. I play a Blood Crypt untapped. I then cast my Mana Crypt. I don't know, or no, I, I then tap my Blood Crypt to cast a Gamble. Search for a card, and discard a card at random. I'll tell Tommy to pick a card. He picks out Echo of Eons, which goes into my graveyard. I then tap my Mana Crypt to cast a Arcane Signet. I then pass to Tommy. Tommy plays a Marsh Flats. Pays one life, sacrifices it. He then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Glacial Fortress, and then plays a Burnished Heart. Then passes to me. I do my Mana Crypt Trigger. I get it. I play a Sulphur Falls, comes to the battlefield untapped because I have a mountain. And then, and then play a Nekusar, Mind Razor. Tommy gets a Plains for some reason. He then plays a Hinge Gate Pathway. And casts a Putrefy on my commander because he's like that. Then passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Cultivate. Searching for two lands, putting one into his hand, one on the battlefield. He puts a Island on the battlefield and plays a Plains from his hand. He passes to me. I play Command Tower. I do my Mana Ship. Mana, mana Crypt Trigger and, and uh, win. He then passes. I pass to him. He plays Fertilid. He passes to Tyler. Tyler plays Bernard and swings Burnished Heart at me. I do my Mana Crypt Trigger. I get it. I then play a Lava Glide Pathway. I then tap out. Play a Nekusar. Then pass to Tommy. Tommy plays a Hollowed Fountain. Taken two, I guess. Not really sure what's going on there. He then plays a Tamio, Collector of Tales. And passes to Tyler. Tyler plays a Primal Vigor. He then plays a Gemstone Mine. It enters the battlefield with three counters on it. But since he has the Primal Vigor, I think it comes in with an extra three. Maybe. I'm not really sure. I think that's only plus one plus one counters. I then cast a Dictate of Prefix. I then play a Reliquary Tower. Tommy draws three cards. Because of Nekosar and the Dictate, he then plays an Opulent uh, Palace. He then casts an Arena Rector. Tyler Worldly Tutors on his end step. Getting a Roaming Throne. Then casts a Smothering Tithe. This is really good for him because uh, Nekosar makes us draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> he then sacrifices Burnished Heart and searches for two basic lands, but he gets. Two extra burnished hearts because of Bernard. I then cast a or play a Dragon Skull Summit and then cast a Demonic Tutor. Search for a card. I then cast a Peer into the Abyss on Tyler. So he draws half of his library and loses half of his life and effectively dies because of my Nekusar. I then pass to Tommy. Tommy plays a Traxa. He then path to exile as my commander. I search for a land. Basic land, sorry. I then do my Mana Crypt Trigger, and I, I win it. I then cast my Commander again for like the third time this game. I then play a Soul Ring. And then pass to Tommy. Tommy plays a Temple of the False God. It is active because he does have five or more lands. Tommy negative threes Tamio and gets uh, a Johnny Mentor of Heroes to his hand. He then plays the Johnny Mentor of Heroes. He's going to immediately plus one that, and he's going to distribute three counters onto Atraxa. He's going to swing at me. He's going to hit me for eight. He swings the Arena Wrecker. I don't block it. Passes to me. I do a Micro Trigger. I get it. I then cast a Forced Fruition. Cast a Nightscape Familiar. Tommy could win right here. He doesn't have to cast any spells. He can just swing at me, but I, I don't know. I don't know what he does here. I cast a Ruby Medallion. I then cast Jeweled Lotus. I'm just casting everything from my hand, because why not? 
and pass to him. He plays a Flicker Wisp, so he draws seven cards and takes seven damage. He could just be swinging at me and killing me, but it's it's totally totally cool. He then swings a 11-11 Atraxa. I go to 19 commander damage and go down to 10. I, he passes to me. I do my Mana Crypt Trigger. I then play a Clear Water Pathway. I then Cyclonic Rift his board. Uh, so everything comes back to his hand. I then cast a Kami of the Crescent Moon. Pass to him. He plays a Seaside Citadel. Citadel? Citadel? Deal? Plays an Arcane Signet. I don't know why I put Arcane Sanctum on the screen, but it's completely fine. Uh, he scoops it up because he's like, I can't win. I can't. If I play a spell, I lose. If, if uh, you know, it just, it just loses because if, if he plays a spell to get rid of something, he's going to draw seven cards. And Necklace is going to ping him for seven, and then be at three. And then on his upkeep, you know, whatever, he just. He's just kind of screwed over anyway. Even, even any way he draws cards, he's done. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if we messed up because we probably did. We aren't perfect. But yeah, peace.